under for sure. <laughs> He's like, I'm still a puppy. This is Nick Matnin of the Straubing Tigers. It's his first season in the DEL, Germany's top professional hockey league, and it's safe to say things went pretty good for him this year. Spieler des Jahres ist Nicolas Mettinen. Now for the next 72 hours in the middle of his season, I'll be following him around, documenting the practices, games, and every moment in between, because surprise, surprise, we're actually old friends from university. And then you find out you're paired with me for the whole flight. Yeah, I think we could have planned that out a little bit better. I think I had the window seat and I, my head couldn't even stand up straight. So now you can see what life is like playing in one of the top hockey leagues throughout Europe. Oh, <laughs> hey. After seven hours of train travel, I am finally in Shrave. Now I just gotta find Nick. There he is. Oh, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Now, the first night we just caught up over dinner at one of Nick's favorite spots in the city, and I will say the food definitely lived up to the hype. <laughs> Spain of Prowl. <laughs> so who is Nick Matnin? Born in Canada's capital, it didn't take long to discover this guy was going to be pretty good at hockey. He quickly turned into a prospect for the Ontario Hockey League and was drafted in the sixth round by one of the most decorated junior programs in Canada, the London Knights. His rookie season allowed him to play a role on arguably one of the greatest junior hockey teams of all time, the OHL and Memorial Cup champions who didn't lose another game after the first round of the playoffs. Impressing big time scouts, Nick would be drafted once again in the sixth round, but this time to the Toronto Maple Leafs. His junior career would end on a few more teams and be highlighted with a second OHL championship as a member of the Hamilton Bulldogs. From there, he would return to the city of Ottawa and commit to the GGs, quickly becoming one of the best defensemen in school history. After three seasons, an OUA East MVP, first team All Canadian selection, and being named Defenseman of the Year throughout the whole country in the U Sports League, it was safe to say Nick was ready for the pros. Signing a deal with the Laval Rocket in the American Hockey League, it wouldn't take long for him to make an impact. with three points in eight games. This would help strengthen his resume to attract European clubs. A first season in Austria, capped off with an all-star selection, really helped him transition into one of the best leagues in Europe. And now that we're all caught up and back in Germany, let's keep going. Nick had to be up at seven o'clock this morning though for a little school visit. So I definitely wasn't getting up for that, but excited to catch practice this morning. So let's get to it. Alrighty, I just got to the arena. This is my, I guess, honest reaction of the first look. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back. We're not gonna fall. Nah, no, should be fine. Sure, would even be better. Okay, sure. Always right in the hands. I have one left. I don't know what else I could have done on that dump. When I moved it to Cleric, and kind of handcuffed him. Oh. Are we going blue? Are we staying white? Concussion. Score some goals. Hopefully this one works. Part one, success. There it is. Great f pass, Scotty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good practice, Linus. Yeah. Careful, my deep partner. Nice. 
From the chill of the ice to the warmth of a home, let's shift gears and step into a different kind of venue. Welcome to Nick's apartment. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's like, I'm still a puppy. Okay. Do you want to tour now quick or? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do that. So like, this is the living room. There's school there. It's like a little storage room. Bathroom with That's a nice tub. Use that. Or dryer, which is nice because we didn't have that last year. And then this is our room. Kind of half clean, half messy. <laughs> <That's> MTV <laughs> Crips. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I like this pantry room though. It's nice. Like, it's kind of nice to have extra space here. And then lots of room for him to play fetch. So there's a game with a desk to like do like schoolwork, which is nice. Oh yeah, because you're doing your uh, masters, right? Yeah, online. So you want to play? Come on. You probably feel that right now. Yeah. Eh? With the tour complete, we are going to take part in some post-practice activities that help Nick unwind and recharge. Chef Matt. I'm trying. Oh. Oh, which way it goes. There it is. How, on average, in a week, how many meals do you cook for yourself? You got to dial them in or? Yeah, five, six days a week. Yeah, okay. Most nights, almost every night. <laughs> It is officially game day. Good morning. It is 10 a.m. for the morning skate here. Just the guys are getting their legs in under them, and yeah, game time tonight. That's a wrap. <laughs> How you feeling? Let's get the game day report. Feeling good. Pre-game skate was good. Uh, we owe these guys. We kind of blew a lead last time, so should be a good atmosphere. Over under two and a half hour nap today. Under, for sure. Under? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So the Dell League right now is super, super close. Literally only two wins separates like the top of the league to the bottom of the league. This is Germany's NHL. I am looking forward to it like you could not believe. It is almost five o'clock and we already have fans showing up two and a half hours early before the game. I got my camera ready. We're gonna try and catch some player arrivals. Let's get it. <laughs> Here we go. Alrighty, we are in the stadium for this evening. I got my photo bib, which funny enough is numbered with number 22, which happens to be my lucky number. Wore this all throughout high school sports. So yeah, it's gonna be a good evening. cool thing I wanted to show you about the stands here before people start coming in is you can kind of see that right around here all this is like standing area the cement parts right there and there and then like across the rink you can see like the blue chairs obviously there's a couple of them down like right there and yeah basically the majority of this stadium is like standing room
And Straubing gets on the board early, a 1-0 lead halfway through the first period. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric. Visiting team just tied it up. We're gonna go try some concessions there now. You need to pay in advance for like a little pre-card here, and then you use this card at the concessions to get the food. Okay. So, a bun with some sausage and ketchup. Now before the second period starts, I wanna show you the souvenirs that I got. So a little mini Matinin jersey and some stickers, strawbing stickers for 21 euros. Nick just scored to make it four to three. I gotta be honest, it's pretty cool to see your buddy get the go-ahead goal on such a grand stage like this right here now. There it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
awesome. Yeah, step up. We'll be on the scene. Thank you. It's awesome. Have a good night. Thank you. Awesome, super, no problem. What a time in Straubing. We just got back to the hotel. Tigers win 7-4, Mats with two goals. Consider subscribing because I am now headed to another German town to catch a Germany 4 league game. Alrighty, in the meantime, stay best kind.